Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my September 2019 update video. Part 2, coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome once again to my September 2019 update video. Part 2. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as the UTV stuff. So, as we always do, let's just jump right into it. And yeah, we out here. Just wanted to do a little video outside of my room. Get a little bit of fresh air and uh, sweat. <laughs> Actually, I just got done eating some Taco Bell. So, uh, feeling pretty good about that. I don't need to eat it nearly as much as I used to. So, wondering like, Andy, you shouldn't be eating that stuff. You're trying to lose weight and stuff, right? I get it. I hear you. I do. And I don't eat it nearly as much as I used to. This is more just kind of a every once in a while a treat for me because I'm doing the, uh, uh, what's that diet called? Uh, being poor. So <laughs> it's just kind of a, a fun little treat at this point. So don't worry, not getting off the diet train. The heat's any indication. I'm just going to be sweating all this shit off by the time I even get home anyway. So it's kind of a moot point. So that out of the way, let's get on to some up date stuff. So don't really have a whole lot to talk about in here, but what I do have to talk about is pretty significant. One of the things I want to talk about is um, my whole uh, debt status slash saving up for Japan and all that stuff. So, um, as you guys know, I owe a little bit of money to the VA from an overpayment back in 2017. The uh, the way we have it all set up is that you know the VA takes out a set amount of money to pay off what I owe them. And they usually do it in uh, little chunks. So I have like three chunks of debt with them, and then they just take however much that would you know cost to uh, to repay the debt within a year. Now that's what I originally thought it was, you know. So say I owe twelve hundred bucks, one thousand two hundred bucks. I don't actually owe that much, but just for for simple mathematical reasons, we'll say I do. The idea, at least had, as it was pitched to me from them, was that they would take what I owe it in 12 so for like every every month i would you know pay them in this case 100 bucks out of my bh and uh would just keep going on until the debt's paid off i think and i'll have to call them on monday but based on this recent message that i got from them this uh, piece of mail came in um i think that they're trying to get me to pay off the debt within this year so not within a year but rather the year it definitely changes some things. Uh, it's both good and bad. It's bad because you know, I feel like I'm not really making any real progress or headway towards saving up for Japan. Because as you guys know, uh, freelancing has been in a bit of a dry spell this month and a little bit last month. So I'm pretty much using any little bit of money that I get for living expenses and bills and whatever else until uh, the BAH and other things start kicking in and uh, I was really looking forward to that uh, first you know big BAH check because I was looking to get a good chunk of cash but this rate I'll be lucky to get like 200 bucks from that which I mean not for nothing it's money but uh, not nearly as much as I thought it would be I'm a little frustrated about that but at the same time on the good end of things it is making me pay off my debt a lot faster, which means that I'll be able to uh, get full BAH payments again much quicker than if this were to be padded out to, uh, in this case, like May next year, if it were to go the 12 month cycle. So this is good. You know, uh, to me, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, although those cons are definitely pretty high up there, especially in the short term. But in the long term, I think it's going to be really good and uh, we'll be able to get those full BH payments and the plan, the ja plan, as it was, or whatever, <laughs> uh, it was to use my BH payments to save up to get back out to Japan and then just use freelancing as a means to pay off my monthly expenses. So, you know, bills and food and gas for the car and all that other stuff. If freelancing's a little low that month, I'd, you know, dip a little bit into the savings, but for the most part, just keep the BH payments in like a savings account and just use those like strictly for Japan. That's kind of kind of where we stand as far as the whole journey back to Japan goes. But uh, 
In other news, speaking of Japan, I told you guys in the last update video that I was a little low on ideas for the old Andy Talks Japandy series. And still trying to think of some stuff, but uh, I want to open up the floor to you guys as far as like what type of uh, Japan questions you would like me to answer. And uh, if there's any aspects or whatever you want me to talk about. I'm all for uh, some fresh new ideas. Uh, I'll try to uh, answer the questions as best I can, try to make a video out of it. But, you know, for me right now, I feel like there's only so much I can do from out here in North Carolina. You know, there's there's some things that I feel have to be, like, in the country to explain. Uh, if anything, get, like, some nice B-roll so it's not just talking head crap all the time. Because I know you guys are getting kind of tired of that because, you know, I'm getting tired of that. <laughs> It's pretty bad when even I'm getting tired of seeing my big old head in frame all the time, but uh, I digress. This also goes for uh, my editing channel, edited by the Andy San. Although I do have some more ideas for those, it's just a matter of putting away some time to uh, to record and have a nice, clean audio environment and stuff like that. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for editing tutorials and other content from that channel soon. So yeah, this also carries over to my Andy Japandi content for when I eventually make my ass back to Japan. Uh, what type of content you'd like to see? Um, I do have a lot of ideas for that, but again, opening the floor up to you guys. Um, definitely wanna know what type of content you'd like to see, if there's any uh, particular parts of you know, Tokyo or other parts of Japan. Uh, we'll try to stick within Tokyo at first, but I do eventually wanna make my way out of Tokyo, go to other cities out in the good old Yaban, you know, like, uh, Osaka, Fukuoka, uh, I want to go back to Hiroshima again because I didn't get video the last time I was out there. Hell, we could even go up north to like Sapporo and stuff like that. So um, definitely want to do that. But I do want to hear what you guys have to say as far as that goes because your opinion matters. With that said guys, before my phone overheats again, uh, we'll just uh, end things here. Definitely look forward to reading you guys' comments down below in the boobie boops and with that said this is the andy san signing for now and as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye